I will be rambling on this quick visit. An episode from SpongeBob SquarePants. Enjoy. Let me tell you reasons why this visit sucks. Like many episodes of seasons 6 to 7. As an episode where Squidward is treated in a horrible and unfair way, as he is harassed by SpongeBob, his house burns down, because he left a casserole in the oven and he gets hurt by falling down the stairs and slipping on some rash cream. Generic plot, SpongeBob wants Squidward to visit his house. Squidward doesn't want to, so SpongeBob steals Squidward's vacuum cleaner, so that Squidward will visit. Besides that, it doesn't make sense, since several times Squidward had already visited SpongeBob in episodes such as Nature Pants and Can You Spare Time, for example. SpongeBob is somewhat unpleasant, strange and creepy in this episode, almost, and badly flanderized as in Golding Buddies or Choir Boys, as he harasses Squidward by wanting him to visit his house. Besides there's a joke where Spongebob cries in various places, because Squidward doesn't want to visit him. Besides that, he somehow makes an exact replica of Squidward's house down to the tiniest detail, which only serves to horrify Squidward. Besides that, he partly made Squidward forget that he left a casserole in the oven and because of that his house was burned down. The worst part is that Spongebob knows all the details of Squidward's house, even the smallest detail, which is pretty creepy and goes to the stalker's territory. In the one hand, Squidward isn't very nice either, as he often insults Spongebob, throws food that Spongebob offers back at him and lets him sleep in the ashes of his house. Animation Errors When Squidward shouts ever in Spongebob's face, one side of Spongebob's white shirt turns transparent for a very brief moment. When Squidward first enters Spongebob's house, there is a portrait of another squid in the wall but with an orange face and a blue shirt. However, when the camera pans in front of Squidward's face and he says no, it isn't, the painting now has a green face and a white shirt. When Spongebob reaches for the ice tea to give to Squidward, one of his blue eyes turns yellow for a split second, until he turns back around. When Squidward is sad, because his house is gone, the vacuum disappears, but when Squidward is about to fall, the vacuum reappears. Also the animation, while decent, can be quite boring to watch, especially for the movements of the characters and the animation errors. A couple of continuity errors, mostly out of contrivance in this episode, it is said that Squidward had never visited Spongebob's house. But Squidward has already been to Spongebob's house in Nature Pants. I was a teenage Gary, Spongebob meets the Strangler, party pooper pants, and can you spare a time? Also, Spongebob went ballistic over him for you loading in the time episode. Patrick said that Squidward visited his house only one time. In Patrick's smart pants, Squidward tested the brain fluids inside the rock. In I look stupid, he told Patrick that his parents arrived. Squidward also visited Patrick's rock in Breath of Fresh Squidward and the Thing. In this episode, Squidward says that he has never called Spongebob, but he had previously called him in home, Sweet Pineapple and the Paper. As usual, the humor is quite mediocre and forced, and is usually based on Spongebob intimidated Squidward, or Squidward suffering, or Squidward being rude to Spongebob, among some mediocre jokes are. There's a scene where Spongebob starts crying and screaming at Squidward. The scene lasts 10 seconds and Spongebob's voice is so sharp, it's irritating. There's another scene of Spongebob crying and telling Squidward to visit him. That scene lasts 7 seconds. The scene where Spongebob offers Squidward different kinds of food. A creepy scene where Spongebob breathes heavily, while on the phone with Squidward. A scene in which Squidward slips in some rash cream that Spongebob threw on the floor. A scene where Squidward steps in Spongebob. Half that ending, when Squidward finally gets his vacuum cleaner back, his house burns down, because he left a casserole in the oven. Spongebob then says he can't stay at his house, causing Squidward to have a mental breakdown. 
in that topic, as Squidward screams SpongeBob, SpongeBob has a little grin in his face, which, much like Bendy's grin, is just exceedingly unpleasant. SpongeBob's infamous auto, don't worry, Squidward. You're more than welcome to stay at my home, until you get your house fixed, quote. The scene where Squidward has a mental breakdown is extremely horrifying. Like one course meal, this episode failed miserably at doing horror comedy and is not fun compared to other episodes such as Squidward in Clarinet Land, Fear of a Krabby Patty, Don't Look Now, Nasty Patty, Graveyard Shift and The Ghost of Plankton, which managed to do horror comedy well. Like one course meal, for some strange reason, the title card plays funny and cheerful music, although this episode is known for SpongeBob's creepy antics and Squidward's mental breakdown, which instead comes off as sickening and outrageous instead of humorous, as intended. Lots of filler, like the scenes in which SpongeBob suggests that Squidward visit his home, which plays out very slowly. That's all I have to say. Bye for now.